On Wednesday, September 27th, followers of the Junior Lithium space saw some magic happen. Stellantis, the OEM automaker with banners such as Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Maserati, invested in Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp, taking what effectively amounts to a 19.9% stake in the company. To secure its interest in the Lithium Explorer, Stellantis invested $90 million US into an Argentinian subsidiary of Argentina Lithium. But here's the catch. Pre-transaction, Argentina Lithium was valued just shy of 30 million Canadian. You heard that right, folks. They got a $90 million US investment into a company with a market cap of around 30 million Canadian. Let's dive into the story. The move by Stellantis to invest in a lithium explorer hardly comes as a surprise. They aren't exactly the first to do so. General Motors this past January made major headlines when they revealed that they had committed $650 million to take a stake in Lithium America's Thacker Pass project. The basis of that deal was General Motors was looking to secure its near-term battery supply chain with Thacker Pass estimated to contain enough lithium to support the production of up to 1 million EVs per year. While that deal by GM may have been the largest investment to date by an automaker into its battery supply chain, it wasn't an outlier. Solantis in June 2022 secured 25,000 tons per year of lithium hydroxide under a decade-long supply agreement with Controlled Thermal Resources, who will produce lithium from its Hell's Kitchen project in California. And this past August, they invested $100 million into Controlled Thermal Resources in an effort to help speed up the development of this project, all while increasing their supply agreement from 25,000 to 65,000 tons of battery grade lithium. But that project was in California. This is Argentina. So what does the deal with Argentina lithium entail? Specifically, Stellantis will be investing the equivalent of 90 million US into Argentina Lithio E Energia SA, a subsidiary of Argentina Lithium that holds its exploration assets. The investment is good for a 19.9% stake in the subsidiary, which with some legal documents to be put in place that will allow for the stake to be exchanged for a 19.9% stake in Argentina Lithium when the parties decide that the time is right. Other managerial arrangements are in place as well, including board rights and top-up rights that we won't waste anyone's time getting further into. Cutting to the chase, the two parties have also entered into a lithium offtake agreement for when Argentina Lithium gets a project into production. The agreement amounts to 15,000 tons per year of lithium for an initial seven-year period. Pricing under the arrangement is said to follow a market-based pricing formula, so it doesn't even sound like Stellantis is getting a steal of a deal despite the investment. They're just concerned with sourcing the lithium at this point. Which really isn't all that surprising, given that in March, Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares stated at an industry roundtable that global lithium inventory levels may not be enough, and that the concentration of the mining of lithium may create other geopolitical issues. So let's take a step back and look at who Argentina Lithium is. They were founded by the Grosso Group, who has been exploring Argentina since 1993, covering everything from gold and silver to lead, zinc, and even uranium. The company has amassed claims in the country amounting to 64,000 hectares across four salars within the provinces of Salta and Catamarca, the heart of the Lithium Triangle. Their flagship project, Rincon West, has seen the first drill program completed, which saw grades of up to four 402 milligrams per liter of lithium with lithium brines below the earth's surface beginning at depths of as little as 38 meters. The project is adjacent to a Rio Tinto property as well as the Argozi Minerals project which has proven reserves. Electromagnetic studies conducted meanwhile have identified that brines are suspected to cover over 1500 hectares of the 37 hectare property. Aside from Rincon West, the company also holds the Antofala North project, which it intends to drill test with up to six holes in the second half of the year, the Posidos project, which it plans to conduct a four-hole first-stage drill program on, and the Inkawasi project, which had a four-hole drill program that showed grades of 109 milligrams per liter of lithium with maximum values up to 409 milligrams per liter lithium identified in sampling on the property. All that's to say that Argentina lithium is still very early stage compared to its peers and yet they just received a 90 million dollar u.s investment from stellantis for what amounts to a 20 percent stake sure there is value in management experience and management is arguably very experienced in this region but still as per the latest set of financial filings the company values its four argentinian assets on the books at 8.2 million dollars half of which is attributed to rink on west Exploration expenditures, meanwhile, are said to have totaled $9.9 .9 million. 
Now, if we compare the state of that project to say Alpha Lithium, who has a US $1.7 billion after tax MPV for its project in Argentina based on a recent PEA, yet that company is trading at only $175 million market cap. And then we got Lithium Chile, who's a Salar de Arazero in Argentina project last month delivered a $1.1 billion after tax MPV and a PEA. And yet that company is only trading at $105 million US valuation. Look, all I'm saying is that the valuation of juniors in the space should be heavily analyzed relative to this deal. The investment by Stellantis into the space should be considered a wake up call to junior investors. Despite everyone screaming from the rooftops that there isn't enough raw materials for the EV transition, many junior investors have been cautious to act on that claim. I mean, we've seen no real market reaction to this theme. Now, look, I know the Canadian junior markets have had a rough year and it feels like everything just plain sucks. But that being said, these Argentina lithium plays are getting lots of action. We got Arena Minerals, who was taken out by Lithium Americas around a year ago. We have Millennial Lithium, who was taken out. We have Alpha Lithium receiving an offer just last week. And today we have Argentina Lithium receiving a $90 million investment at a $400 $150 million post money valuation from Stellantis. And this investment might actually mark a turning point for the Canadian junior markets, given how early stage Argentina lithium is and just how much money was placed into it by a major automaker. It signals that the big guys are ready to look at some of the earlier stage battery exploration companies. I say good for Argentina lithium for making hay while the sun shines. Now let's just hope that the sun shines elsewhere in the market. All right, everybody. Buddy, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you invested in any Argentinian lithium names? If so, what are they? Do you think that there's going to be more takeouts? I certainly do. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. All right. I love you all.